before. In the late 1980s, we discovered that umbilical cord blood was a wonderful alternative to bone marrow for transplants. But interestingly, in the more recent years, we've discovered that umbilical cord blood is much more powerful than we ever expected it to be, and it's been used in many regenerative medicine purposes as a cellular therapy. What I know is that in the next five years, next 10 years, there will be so many more opportunities. So just because you don't have a hundred different clinical trials you can sign up for tomorrow doesn't mean that these applications won't exist in five or 10 years when your child might need it. And to be honest, the most exciting thing is the unknown. Mm -hmm. You know, A child born with a heart defect can be fixed No, but the unknown the of what the cord blood can do, like what they're looking into now, I think that's so fascinating. Like, just if you're, that's also like you know interesting. Just uncharted waters. Exactly. Like that. that's, that's what they're going into. Good night. Love you. Mm -hmm. You sleep good. Got your bunny. For your child, I mean, you do anything, you know, as a parent. So, I would recommend it to anybody. Knowing that they're the biggest. I mean, they're probably the biggest ones out there as far as cord blood goes, which says a lot because the chances mm -hmm. of them having any problems with our cord blood is slim as opposed to maybe a newer company. Yeah, but new mothers, do your research. I mean, go ask, ask your gynecologist or your OB doctor about it. So the first time I heard about cord blood banking was actually through my gynecologist when I was pregnant. Um, and that was when I heard of Viacord. Are you excited? Are you excited? They took the cord blood and the tissue, didn't get enough blood from the cord, but I didn't know that yet. We didn't find that out until we were being charged with a bill to process that. After, it had to have been at least three months of me calling them, leaving messages, trying to get information about what's going on. No response, nothing. Then they call me one day and say, Hi, I'm calling from Biacord. Um, I just want to let you know that we have this bill for 1,000 such and such dollars, and we're going to be sending it to collections if we don't get a response from you or a payment. I got pissed. I say, I have been trying to get in contact with y'all for months. So basically, we paid a company to do nothing for us just to get them to leave us alone and not send a bill to collections that I don't feel like we should have had to foot in the first place. 